So Linda, to start, uh, would you be able to tell us more about how mining facilities can use brownfield programs to site their facilities and utilize renewable power? Essentially, the idea of this program is to encourage, particularly given a lot of the issues that, that Dave mentioned, utilize land that is hopefully not very close to where people live, sort of off in industrial zone properties that are hopefully not going to impact people and where they live as much as, you know, other type land. And it is designed, however, typically those properties are are contaminated with something from a past industrial user. And what most states have nowadays is what are called risk-based cleanup standards so that you don't have to remediate a site that would be utilized for this type of facility, as well as a renewable facility, to pristine levels. The standards are either commercial or industrial cleanup standards that are more lenient than what would be, you know, for a residential project, for example, or a park or a daycare center. And and most states in the country now have risk-based cleanup standards based on land use. And so for these types of projects, it's not as though you have to get every molecule of historic contamination out of the ground. You instead have to remove source material. So if there was a tank there that leaked or um, drum storage area where the drums leaked and there's what's, you know, considered product the chemical actual product is still in the ground, you dig that up, but otherwise your facility covers the residual contamination on the site and whatever contamination is left there is managed in place through engineering controls and other controls that make the building itself and the occupants in the building safe. So that's the the concept of the program and an exchange For taking on a a project in a site like that, you get not only those tax credits that I mentioned, but also a liability release from the state once that commercial industrial cleanup is done. And you do not have to clean up generally. Uh, This may not be true in every state. It is true here. You clean up your own site, not the contamination emanating from the site. Now, that's, again, not true in every state, but that's, that's the basic Uh, benefits you get from these brownfield cleanup programs in general. Perfect. Thank you very much, Linda. Uh, David, any thoughts? I agree with, with, uh, you know, what Linda said. I do a lot of work in the brownfield area myself, and it's been an an incredibly valuable program in terms of of getting uh, properties, particularly those that are environmentally challenged, uh, back into a productive use and also providing incentives for doing so that are uh, pretty pretty generous and, and helpful. And in the context of a crypto operation, obviously you have a high capital investment in terms of the facility itself. Um, but if you're if you are linking that to some sort of renewable energy generation, that can sort of further incentivize and put on steroids, so to speak, the incentive programs that you have available, not just through the Brownfields programs, but things like the NYSERDA and some, uh, you know, some other programs that are out there that provide renewable energy incentives. So it, it can be a, a compelling package. And the fact that going through the Brownfield program and obtaining the release of liability, uh, all of those things are very helpful as well from a financing perspective. Um, uh, oftentimes you see for cryptocurrency type operations, there's different groups come together to finance a project and somebody may be utilizing 50% of the capacity and somebody else is using some other portion of it and some is captive and some is, you know, is provided as a service to other cryptocurrency um, operations. And the ability to finance those projects on a, on an industrial piece of property that has an environmental legacy can can be problematic, but if you put it through the Brownfield program and you get the release of liability, you're basically taking much of that risk out of the equation, which um, you know makes it easier and oftentimes less expensive to finance an operation of that magnitude from a capital cost perspective at a at a property like we're talking about. 